Now Ronnie and I have been diverted. They're diverting all traffic, cars and walking, foot traffic, away from the palace and away from the temples around the palace. And this is why Ronnie and I usually do not visit temples or government kinds of buildings. We're Ronnie and Jeremy, and we're digital nomads traveling around the world. We spent the last two years living in Southeast Asia during a global pandemic. Now we're back on the move again on our quest to visit every country in the world. And we hope you'll come along with us for the ride. station again topping up our carts we're gonna move around the city today and go see some of the main attractions here in the city including some traditional temples stay tuned we are back at our familiar MRT stop here and we are gonna go on the purple line over to Tapu station and then change to the blue line and go to Chatu Chak Park and then change from the blue line on the green line at the BTS from Mochi to Siam in the city center where we will find our city bus today. Now we are at Chatu Chak Park and this is where our MRT this time will stop because we will get out and change over to the BTS Green Line. station to get on the BTS line and then we'll take that to the center of the city to Siam because we are going to try to make it to a city bus tour today here in Bangkok. So a different train system means different tokens for riding the train. So the BTS takes a different card system than the MRT does, so now we have to go to our machine here and buy new tokens. Siam Station on the BTS. Now we're going to try to find our way down the street and locate this city bus tour and buy a kiosk ticket and then we'll be on our way around the city, we hope.
City Bus Tour here in Bangkok. Ronnie has our uh, audio guide, which is in seven languages. Yep. Total cost for the City Bus Tour in Bangkok is 500 Thai baht per person, and it's good for 24 hours. But the last bus ride is at three from this location. I guess you can use it tomorrow morning too if you wanted to. We're gonna ride around the loop and do the full tour, and then maybe we'll hop off at some of the stops. Definitely need lunch. We skipped breakfast and lunch again this morning. We've gotten in the habit of doing that. stops that we wanted to stop at. So we had to get off the next stop, get a tuk-tuk back over to the Grand Palace to see if we can get in. They were having a ceremony before, the king and queen. We're hoping by the time we get there, the ceremony will be over. And maybe we can get in today before they close. Let's hope. But right now, as always, trying to stay alive on the tuk-tuk. Okay, we made it to the Royal Grand Palace in time to go inside. However, they have a long laundry list of things that you have to do to go inside. And they're having a ceremony today with the king and queen, which makes it extra silly. If you want to go inside, you have to have proper dress, and that's many things. Not only pant coverings for men and women, but also uh, shoulder and shirt coverings. Not even, you can't wear a scarf or anything like that to cover. No, you have to buy a shirt or wear pants and a shirt. And they have things for sale inside, of course. So if you don't uh, wear the proper dress, they'll direct you to the gift shop to buy the certain things. But it's all a little bit silly and overkill. And I think it's even more today because the king and queen has graced us with their presence and they're doing a ceremony here. But uh, just know that if you want to come to the Grand Royal Palace, it closes at 3.30. And we walked inside the walls. It is a big area big grounds but last ticket sale i'm not sure but we're here after two o'clock and you can still go in so if you with like long pants like me you also still cannot enter because it's too tight so you need to buy like skirt or maybe big uh, long pants that cover your body and also you cannot use scarf i bring my scarf but still cannot you need to use the shirt to cover all Okay, now Ronnie and I have been diverted. They're diverting all traffic, cars and walking, foot traffic, away from the palace and away from the temples around the palace. And this is why Ronnie and I usually do not visit temples or government kinds of buildings because there's usually some kind of pomp and circumstance with dignitaries visiting or something that makes it a little bit more of a hassle or makes it where you have to buy a special dress or or something to be in the presence of these people. We're probably gonna wander away from this temple area and the palace area, and maybe we'll find something actually more authentic in Bangkok to do today that doesn't require so much ceremonial procedure. But right now, it's pretty hot, and uh, the afternoon heat is getting to us a bit, so we might find a cafe to duck into and enjoy some lunch. come to Siam Square 1 in the center of the city. It's also where the Siam Paragon shopping mall is at, which is the number one shopping mall in Bangkok. And we're gonna look around and find some food finally and uh, spend some time inside where it's nice and cool. We've been outside a long time today and gotten quite hot. If you wanna follow us on Instagram and Facebook and TikTok, you'll see more of our live photo posts and just what we're doing around the city.
Yes, I am shopping complex. Ronnie's in the stores shopping, looking for things to buy. I'm staying outside the stores so she can't buy them, hiding from her while she walks around and looks for different items. I go and find a place to hide behind a plant so she can't go to the register and purchase it. It's a little fun game of hide and seek we play. Pretty soon, I guess we're gonna be thinking about trying to get some dinner here at Siam Shopping Complex. There's like three or four different malls all connected here at Siam Center. We'll uh, show you around some more and show you what food we decide to buy. This is also a good time to let you know if you'd like to recommend some things in the comments of some of the best attractions in Bangkok that are not temple related. Put those in the comments so we know uh, what things to maybe do on our next trip to Bangkok. Most of the top 10 or top 20 things to do in Bangkok are temples and different palaces and whatnot. Uh, but we'd love to know what your favorite things are that are not temple related. Go ahead and drop those in the comments for us. Now we have stopped at a restaurant called Audrey, which is a cafe inside the giant Siam shopping complex. They specialize in Thai fusion with European cuisine. So we'll see how this fares. The menu is quite extensive. Lots of different iced teas and fruit punches and juices mixed with uh, pastas, pizzas, sandwiches, of course Thai food, different soups, uh, tom yum, curries. <laughs> I get a little bit worried when the menu is so big. I don't know how the chefs in the back can cook all these things very well, but we'll see. Ronnie ordered some kind of noodles. tom yum noodles with seafood. I ordered a Caesar salad with a traditional Thai recipe of cooked pork loin with lime juice. So we'll see uh, how all this mixes together and we'll give you our review as always. It's spicy. Salad is good. Yeah, Ronnie's tom yum looks quite spicy. <laughs> My pork loin has lots of lime. It smells good. Yes, it's good. Try this. Good, yeah? Creamy spicy. Mm -hmm. Thai chili. Lime, pork, mm. Mm. juicy. Mm. It's all very good. I like the sauce. The sour, spicy, mixed with the garlic. Really Lime, good. yeah. I think we're gonna be happy here. This is a good, uh, a good dinner. Plus, the drinks are great. Ronnie got a Thai iced tea, and I got this colorful, sweet fruit punch. We give um, Audrey a thumbs up. Whoever Audrey is, her restaurant's very good. Okay, we just finished our meal at Audrey. Total cost was 906 Thai baht. That was about 24 US dollars. Food was absolutely delicious. Now we have to get back to our apartment because we have to pack and get ready for a flight. Another flight! <laughs> to another place here in Thailand. Yeah. And we'll let you know soon where we're going. We're back in our beloved BTS. Metro. We're going to take our same route back home. So we're at the BTS Green Line at Siam Center. We're going to go to Mochit, change over to the blue line on the MRT, take the blue line to the purple line at Typhoon Station, and then take the purple line back to our apartment. Okay, we made it safely back to our Airbnb apartment and the long day moving around the city and the heat here in Bangkok has made us pretty tired and sleepy and we have a travel day coming up so 
we are going to call it a night. If you would like to support us on the regular, go on over to our YouTube channel at Kentuckians Abroad and check out our membership options and all the perks that we have. We would love to have you on board as a supporter. And as always, if you enjoyed this adventure day traveling around Bangkok and trying to find food to eat and getting lost with us, go ahead and smash that thumbs up button and share this vlog with all your friends on social media. And if you enjoy world travel content and traveling around the globe and going wherever we go, please subscribe to our channel and check that notification bell so you know when our new videos are uploaded each week. But remember, you don't have to be a Kentuckian to travel with us. You just gotta have fun. Stay safe, stay healthy, and keep on keeping on. Cheers. Cheers.